Santa Rosa CBSSF, California fire authorities said Sunday they have turned a corner in battling several of the wildfires that have devastated wine country and other parts of the state over the past week. Some counties were preparing to let more evacuees return to the homes amid improving weather. The winds that have been fanning the deadliest and most destructive cluster of wildfires in California history did not kick up overnight as much as feared. Conditions have drastically changed from just 24 hours ago, and that is definitely a very good sign. And it's probably a sign we've turned a corner on these fires, said Daniel Berlant, spokesman for California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. We're starting to see fires with containment numbers in the 50 and 60 percent, so we're definitely getting the upper hand on these fires. The wildfires have destroyed at least 5,700 homes and other structures. As of Sunday, roughly 75,000 people were under evacuation orders, down from nearly 100,000 the day before. On Sunday, the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office said the county would start assessing evacuated areas, which is a first step toward allowing people back home. Mendocino County said it expected to allow even more people home on Sunday as well. Five new bodies were recovered Saturday to bring the total number of dead to 40 with more than 200 people still missing and unaccounted for. The victims were had mothers, sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, uncles and aunts. At emotional religious services Sunday those who have been killed were remembered with tears, prayers and heavy hearts. Gov. Jerry Brown, touring the devastation accompanied by U.S. Senators Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris on Saturday, summed up what many were thinking within the hearts. It's a horror that no one could have imagined, Brown said, after driving past hundreds of totally destroyed homes. Many also paused to be thankful even if they had lost the homes. Our home is gone, but you know what my family got out, Janine Marsden told KPIX. They got out. Also read and the battle being waged by the 10,000 firefighters who have come to the region from all over California and the West is far from over. On Saturday and again early Sunday, red flag warning level wind gusts breathed new life into the wildfires burning in the region. Homes were destroyed near the picturesque town of Sonoma Saturday but firefighters were able to save the historic Buena Vista winery and several other landmarks from damage. Late Saturday night, firefighters were battling to keep the Nuns Patrick Complex fires advance near Sonoma from destroying a vital transmission and tower that was a key component of Cal Fire's communication system. Thousands remained evacuated and the week-long agony of not knowing what has happened to the homes has reached a boiling point. Confrontations with police and National Guardsmen at checkpoints sparring entry into the burned-out areas have become commonplace. Were on pins and needles, Travis Oglesby, who evacuated from his home in Santa Rosa, said to Sonoma County Sheriff Robert Giordano on Saturday. We're hearing about looting. In Santa Rosa, some residents were allowed to return to the fire-ravaged Coffee Park neighborhood, a scene of near-total devastation and death when the tubs fire ripped through on Sunday and Monday. Brian Backer was among the more fortunate. His home, while slightly damaged, was not destroyed. We walked outside and the sky was just glowing, he said recalling his family's escape. It was completely surreal just. The Berkeley Fire Department released a video late Saturday night from a dash cam showing the inferno its crews drove into early Monday in Santa Rosa. Meanwhile, in Mendocino County, 70 miles north of California's fabled wine country of Napa and Sonoma counties, some residents feel ignored as they deal with their own catastrophic wildfires. We have been hit just as hard as anyone, said Sonia Campbell, who lost her house to the fires. I don't get why we aren't getting any attention. Major Northern California wildfires source Cal Fire as of Sunday 700 a.m. P.T. Sonoma County Nuns Norblum, Presley Adobe Patrick fires 47,106 acres, 25% contained, high 12, N of Glen Ellen, Kenwood Pocket fire 11,246 acres, 15% contained, off Pocket Ranch Road and Ridge Ranch Road, Geeserville Lake County Sulphur fire 2,207 acres, 70% contained, off high 20 Sulphur Bank Road, Clear Lake Oaks Mendocino County Redwood Potter fires 35 
5,000 acres, 30% contained N of Hoi 20, W of Mendocino National Forest Solano Napa County Atlas Fire 51,057 acres, 56% contained off Atlas Pete Road, south of Lake Berryessa Butte County Cherokee Fire 8,417 acres, 90% contained off Cherokee Road and Zonally Lane, Oroville Laporte Fire 6,144 acres, 77% contained Laporte Road and Oro Banga Hoi, Banga Yuba County Cascade Fire 9,989 acres, 87% contained Cascade Way Marysville Road, N of Collins Lake Trademark and Copyright Copyright 2017 CBS Radio Inc. and its relevant subsidiaries. CBS Radio and iLogo Trademark and Copyright 2017 CBS Broadcasting Inc. Used under license. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten, or redistributed. The Associated Press contributed to this report.